Hey Trumpets, today we're going to be looking at a new page in our Ed Suedo book, but first, let's review our steady note shapes. So we're going to open up to page 31. This is our whole note line, and we're going to practice just having nice, steady sounds. Here we go, do it with me. Bring your horn up, tap your foot, 50-50, and one, two, ready. <laughs> next beat one. So let's try it again. There we go. Horns come up. One, two, ready. Freeze. And horns come back down. Good, last thing I want you to remember is that the start of each one of these notes has to be with the tongue. Two, and then nice steady note shape. Let's do it one more time, here we go. One, two, ready. for just a second. We've been playing it for the past couple weeks, working on our nice steady note shape, but we've never known what note it is. Now that we've learned the letters of the staff, we're going to go ahead and give this note a letter. This is our C. Not the one that's in the staff, but the one below. So it's that first ledger line, nice and low and relaxed. So let's play that exercise one more time. What note are we playing it on? That's right, C. Horns up. One, two, ready. And freeze and relax. Awesome. Well, let's take a look in our book. I want everybody to open up to page five. At the top of the page, it should say lesson three. There's two different notes there at the top. The one that we're going to be focusing on for today is going to be that C. It's the same one that we just played. It's a C that's below the staff. And if you notice right underneath it, it has a little, uh, it has a, an oval, that, or zero, right? Right underneath it, that means that it is open, that we don't have to do anything with our fingers. It's just a nice open sound, and that's what comes out of our instrument without pushing any of the valves. So let's go ahead, we're going to be looking at line six. So if you take a look at it, it's a bunch of whole notes, right? It's the same notes that we've been playing on our other exercise, but if you look, there's even more this time. So let's count all the whole notes. How many times are you going to be playing on this line from beginning to end? Four times, right? We have a whole note, whole rest, whole note, whole rest, whole note, whole rest, whole note, whole rest. And then we have that double bar line, which means we stop playing. And every single one of these whole notes is on C. So let's try playing this one. There we go. Horns come up, tap your foot, eyes on your page so you know when to stop. And one, two, ready. <laughs> start with the tongue. Whether it's a whole note, half note, we have to start it with the tongue so we get a nice clean start. And then we're holding out that whole note steady shape. What beat do I stop my air on? 
Stop. So I start the air. One. That's right. I'm gonna stop it on that next downbeat. So make sure you're holding out long enough, but also you're not going past beat one. Let's try that one more time. Here we go, let's bring up our horns, 50-50. When you hear the metronome, start tapping your toe. Here we go, one, two, ready? tapping your toe and as a reminder what's that note that we're playing on what's the note name for it that's right it's our C happy practicing <laughs> 